The Explosive Volcano Chapter 1 The Mysterious Island Axel, Lara, and Max were thrilled as their boat approached the tropical island. The sun was shining brightly, casting a warm glow over the lush green forests that covered the island like a thick blanket. Colorful birds flew overhead, their songs filling the air with a sense of wonder. The pristine beaches, with their soft white sand, looked inviting, and the crystal clear water sparkled in the sunlight. But what caught their attention the most was the towering volcano in the center of the island. It stood majestically, its peak reaching high into the sky, partially obscured by wisps of clouds. The volcano looked like it had been dormant for years, its slopes covered in vegetation. However, something about it felt strangely alive, as if it were silently observing the newcomers. As they set up their campsite near the edge of the forest, they couldn't shake off the feeling that the volcano was watching them. The air around them seemed to hum with a subtle energy. After a day of exploring the beautiful beaches and marveling at the vibrant flora and fauna, they gathered around a campfire, the crackling flames casting flickering shadows on their faces. We should definitely hike up to the volcano, Axel suggested, his eyes gleaming with anticipation. I've read that there are some ancient ruins near the top. It could be an amazing adventure. Lara nodded, her excitement palpable. And maybe we'll find some rare plants or animals along the way. This island seems full of secrets. Max, always the cautious one, looked a bit hesitant. As long as it's safe, he said, glancing nervously at the distant volcano. We don't want to mess with an active volcano. Little did they know, the volcano was far from dormant. It held secrets and dangers beyond their wildest imaginations. As the night deepened, the friends drifted off to sleep, unaware that their adventure was about to take a dangerous turn. The volcano, with its hidden mysteries, awaited them. Chapter 2 Into the Heart of the Volcano Early the next morning, the trio began their hike up the volcano. The sun was just beginning to rise, casting a golden hue over the island. The path was steep and challenging, winding through dense vegetation and over rocky terrain. Axel, Lara, and Max were determined, their excitement driving them forward despite the tough climb. As they ascended higher, the air grew noticeably warmer. They could feel the ground vibrating slightly beneath their feet, a subtle but constant reminder of the volcano's dormant power. Sweat trickled down their faces, and they paused occasionally to catch their breath and take in the breathtaking views. Suddenly, Max, who was leading the way, stopped abruptly. Look, he exclaimed, pointing to a hidden entrance partially covered by vines and foliage. The opening was barely visible, blending seamlessly with the surroundings. Curiosity got the better of them, and they decided to explore further. They pushed aside the vines and entered the narrow tunnel, their flashlights illuminating the way. The air inside was hot and thick, making it difficult to breathe. As they ventured deeper into the tunnel, the heat intensified, and the walls seemed to glow with a fiery light, casting eerie shadows. To their surprise, they emerged into a massive underground chamber filled with high-tech equipment and strange machinery. The chamber was bathed in an unnatural orange glow, and the hum of machinery echoed around them. In the center of the room stood a man in a white lab coat, his back turned to them. He was busy working on a complex device that looked like it was designed to trigger an eruption. Lara gasped, it's a secret laboratory. Axel stepped forward cautiously. Hey, what are you doing here? He demanded, trying to keep his voice steady. The scientist turned around slowly revealing a sinister smile. His eyes gleamed with a mixture of madness and excitement. Ah, visitors. 
I didn't expect anyone to find my laboratory, he said, his voice dripping with arrogance. My name is Dr. Infernix, and you're just in time to witness the birth of a new source of energy. Chapter 3 Dr. Infernix's Plan Dr. Infernix explained his diabolical plan with a sense of pride, his voice echoing through the massive chamber. This volcano contains a rare mineral known as volcanium, he began, his eyes gleaming with ambition. When combined with my advanced technology, it can generate an immense amount of energy. Enough to power entire cities. But to extract it, I need to trigger a controlled eruption. It's a small price to pay for unlimited power. Axel, Lara, and Max exchanged worried glances. The enormity of Dr. Infernix's plan sank in, and they knew they had to stop him. But how? The scientist continued working on his machine, his confidence unwavering. He seemed certain that three kids couldn't possibly thwart his grand scheme. Lara leaned closer to Axel and Max, whispering urgently, We need to find a way to disable his machine. Max nodded, his expression serious. And we have to do it without him noticing. If he triggers the eruption, the entire island will be in danger. Axel's eyes scanned the lab, taking in the array of equipment and blinking lights. He spotted a control panel on the far side of the room, partially obscured by a cluster of machines. I'll create a distraction, he said decisively. Lara, you and Max find a way to disable the machine. With a plan in place, Axel took a deep breath and began to move toward Dr. Infernix. He picked up a small, metallic object from a nearby table and tossed it across the room. It clattered loudly, drawing the scientist's attention away from his work. What was that? Dr. Infernix muttered, turning to investigate the noise. Seizing the opportunity, Lara and Max quietly slipped to the side, making their way toward the control panel. Their hearts pounded as they approached, the fate of the island resting in their hands. Lara quickly examined the controls, her sharp mind already formulating a plan. Max, look for the main power switch, she whispered urgently. If we can cut the power, we might be able to shut down the entire system. Max nodded and began searching the panel, his fingers moving swiftly over the various switches and buttons. As the seconds ticked by, the tension in the room mounted. They knew they didn't have much time before Dr. Infernix realized what they were up to. Just as Dr. Infernix began to turn back, Axel called out, Hey, Dr. Infernix! Is that all you've got? I've seen better tech at a science fair. The scientist's eyes narrowed with irritation, his attention fully diverted. Lara and Max worked feverishly, their efforts finally rewarded as Max located the main power switch. With a quick, decisive motion, he flipped it off, plunging the lab into darkness and silence. The hum of machinery ceased, and Dr. Infernix spun around in fury. What have you done? he roared his eyes blazing with anger. Axel, Lara, and Max regrouped, ready to face whatever came next. They had bought themselves some time, but the battle was far from over. The fate of the island still hung in the balance. Chapter 4 The Final Showdown Axel approached Dr. Infernix pretending to be fascinated by the machinery. Wow, this is incredible. How does it work? He asked, his eyes wide with feigned admiration. Dr. Infernix, eager to boast about his creation, began explaining the intricate details. This device harnesses the geothermal energy from the volcano, converting it into a powerful, sustainable source of energy. It's revolutionary. As the scientist reveled in his explanation, Lara and Max moved stealthily towards the control panel. 
Lara, using her knowledge of electronics, quickly identified the main power source. There it is, she whispered to Max we need to shut this down. Max kept a vigilant eye on Dr. Infernix, making sure he remained distracted. Just as they were about to disable the power, an alarm suddenly blared through the chamber. Dr. Infernix spun around, his eyes widening with realization. You meddling kids. You won't ruin my plans. Thinking quickly, Axel grabbed a nearby tool and hurled it at a large tank of cooling fluid. The tank burst open, releasing a torrent of icy water that cascaded over the machinery, causing several systems to short-circuit. Sparks flew and the lights flickered. Seizing the moment, Lara and Max cut the main power line. The entire lab was plunged into darkness. Dr. Infernix let out a roar of frustration, lunging at them in a desperate attempt to salvage his plans. But Axel, Lara, and Max were already racing towards the exit, their hearts pounding with adrenaline. The tunnel shook violently as the volcano began to react to the disruption. The trio sprinted through the narrow passageway, barely keeping their balance as the ground trembled beneath them. They could feel the heat intensifying, knowing they had to escape before it was too late. Bursting out of the hidden entrance, they scrambled down the volcano's slope, dodging falling rocks and debris. The volcano rumbled ominously, but as they reached the safety of their campsite, the tremors began to subside. Breathing heavily, Axel grinned at his friends. We did it. We stopped him. Lara smiled, her face glowing with relief and pride. And we saved the island. Max nodded solemnly. Let's make sure no one else finds that lab again. As the sun set, casting a warm glow over the island, the three friends knew that their adventure had brought them closer together. They had faced danger and come out victorious. Ready for whatever challenges came next, they sat around the campfire, their bonds stronger than ever.